So what's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at the Power Rangers Dino Fury Patera Freeze Megazord. Yes, a Power Rangers review. Again, I'm doing a lot of these and there's going to be a lot more because I might have ordered the entire Dino chart or Dino Fury line. I, I, I might have done it. Yeah, I bought this guy yesterday at a local Walmart because he was the only Megazord in the entire... I don't... There's no other one. There's literally no other Megazords in the entirety of where I live. This was the only one, and I bought it. There was ones, but then they all disappeared. I was going to buy it like two weeks ago. I put it on a shelf, and I couldn't find it, and I went back in, and he was there again. So I was like, oh, well, I guess I'm buying it this time. And the Patera Freeze Megazord is pretty cool. This is its main form, which, of course, is a Pteranon. Pterodon, how do you say it? I think the P is silent. It's just a pterodactyl. That's that's what it is. A pterodactyl. Same thing. And it's pretty cool. Now he is primarily the light blue. So this is usually the light blue they use for the female blue rangers, usually. That's what I associate this blue with, because it's the same blue coloring as like the Mystic Force blue and the um Ninja Storm blue. That's what I associate this color with, because usually the darker blue is the, like, regular. But apparently, I don't really know much about anything about the show, so there's that. That this Zord is apparently not, like, anyone specifically. It's just whoever's, if I'm not mistaken. I could be very wrong on that. But I don't believe this is anyone's Zord in particular. It's just kind of an extra third Megazord that anyone can use. I mean, it looks pretty cool. Primarily being the blue and white with some gold here and there. But all of them have some gold here and there. I mean, looking at it, it says a few things. Um, the fists are blatantly right there. And they're just chilling. As far as turning it around, the legs are just kind of folded up. It's it's a Megazord. I'm not gonna just sit there and go, oh yeah, you know. That's just how they are. That's just how most of the big Zords are. Is they're just folded up limbs, or the limbs are sticking out somewhere. That's how they go, usually. On the top of them, you do have the logo here, which on the Japanese one's picked out in silver. Kind of sad they didn't pick it out on this one at all. But hey... One thing I gotta say is the feet are a bit weird. I'm pretty sure these are sculpted like Gatling guns, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, you could get creative and use these like missile pods or whatever. On the bottom, he has this part, which is it's the weapon. So you technically don't need it there, but it is supposed to go there. Without it, it just flops over. Nope, there goes his arm. And you're seeing an issue with him. Which is the arm connectors are really weird on mine. Like, they're either really loose or really tight. One's tight, one's loose. I don't know if they're on right, because the other side does have gold, but it's primarily just for the robot. So I just kind of use the same arm that it's supposed to. As far as it goes, though, looks pretty good. I can actually get a look here at the pterodactyl head, as it is removable. There it is. Pretty nice, it has this thing which flips forward and back, but I don't know why. And the mouth opens and closes. Now this thing does have a lot of translucent on it, but the translucent plastic on the head and fists are kind of this rubbery material. They're not like, like this here is like the regular translucent plastic you're used to, but like this is like a rubbery translucent plastic, which is actually really good. Yeah, that's the Patera form, but there's another form that he has, which is a penguin? If I'm not mistaken, I think it's a penguin. That's what I've heard it called, so I'm going to call it a penguin too. Said, I've not watched the show, and I really don't know much about the show. So, there's that. Probably should have did some research, considering I bought the entire line, but I only really wanted the Megazords. So you're basically going to start out like this. And I'm going to take the arms here and kind of just peg them on. So I'd recommend putting them like a click. And then you can have that on. And then you can try to get it to sit straight. I can never get it to sit straight. But putting the hip out a click is very good. We'll get to that. Don't worry, we're... 
we will get to what Hasbro's been doing. Because this is obviously a Hasbro Megazord. Not a Bandai Megazord. A Hasbro Megazord. Yeah, I can't get those to do that. Because we've only taken a look at Bandai Megazords so far. We've not taken a look at a single Hasbro one up until this point. So basically, you're going to come to the back and you're going to unpeg the wings and make that really unnerving click every time. And then you're going to do that. You're going to fold it down at the top. And that's going to reveal the head. And you can also come to the back and kind of like tilt the feet out of the way. And then you can again peg the shield bit on there and... One thing that always falls out is the giant Gestalt Forms mask. It's always falling out. It doesn't really clip into place securely. And there's the giant ball thing, or penguin. I'm pretty sure it's a penguin. But it's pretty alright looking, you know? Until you turn around and realize, oh, it's just folded up again. But yeah, I mean, it looks alright from the front. You can kind of see how weird the arms are in there at the moment. But it's a nice little form, and it doesn't really, in, it's not really intrusive at all. Towards the entirety of the rest of the Gestalt form, I mean, Gestalt, it's literally just one. It's one of those singular Megazords. But yeah, I mean, it looks good. There's those clips that these clip into, and they are not going to last. I just have a feeling in the future you're going to be seeing a lot of broken clips on that, because that is not a fun connection to undo. Lots of the ports all over this guy as well. Like, you can give this thing arms, which is, I intend to do. You can also give it legs because it has feet ports. And it has some there, and then obviously on the shield. I'm going to have some fun with this. I, I am going to have some fun with this whole line because there's so much stuff that you can customize. And that's why I really wanted it. Because it's like two of my favorite things, giant robots and Legos. If only I could own Lego Optimus Prime. That thing is way too much money. Damn you, Lego, for being expensive. But, before we get into the final bit that fell off again, I gotta show off the key! Yes, the key. Ooh, take that off. The key, which is unpainted, which is a bit sad that they don't paint them, but I get why. And this is the primary gimmick of the line. All the Megazords have their own key, and I have the Amazon set ordered, so I'm gonna get the... Pink, blue, green, and black key as well. So that's going to be cool. Otherwise, you'd get them through, I believe, the figures. Which, I'm not really interested in them. And, yeah, so the key looks good. It has the night detailing there. I'm pretty sure this is just the Red Ranger's key again, though. And, I mean, it's nice. It's kind of in translucent plastic. Like, this is translucent, but this is rubbery, where the head is. Yeah, it is blatantly just the head. It also had the little cap I ripped off, which has the little penguin in it. Eh, there he is. He's in there. And this little cap just pegs on the back of the head. All of them have it in that Amazon set as well. They all have the little cap. And it's to help the head look like a head and not be, like, flat on the back, you know? So that's cool. But, let's get into the main robot. So to get this thing in the main robot mode from penguin form, come to the back, flip up the head, take his wings and fold them out, and peg them in. Rip the arms off of the shins, not even the shins or the hips. Fold down the knees. Like so. I just lost the face guard, which there that is. <laughs> You'll see it again, I'm sure you will, because we're going to be doing, I know I do separate videos with combinations, because this is, there's way too much with this thing, these are a lot. Take the arms and attach them on like so, there you go. You can then take this and attach it on to whatever arm you like, just one of them. Able to click. And then you take the head and it slots in 
at the top, and that is the Patera Freeze Megazord. And it looks pretty good, except for this stupid thing, I hate it so much. It's either in the way of the mouth plate, or you fold it forward like that, and it's in the way of the entire face. See, that's my preferred mode, honestly. Like, where I'm sitting right now, I can see the face, but on camera you can't, so flip down it is. And this thing is pretty good. Turning it around, though, it does have a giant thing sticking off, because it's there on the Patera mode as well. And this thing just looks pretty good. And the size of it is really big. I, I was watching a video. I think it's uh, Power Rangers Tube. I was watching his videos. I love his videos. I think he's, at the moment, one of my favorite Power Rangers toy review guys. Like, he's just really in-depth with it and everything like that. I recommend him wholeheartedly. And, I mean, I was watching his videos. And let's see, what was I on track for here? I'm kind of forgetting. Yeah, I, I forgot. I completely forgot. I got sidetracked saying how great he is, but he is really great. But the sizes, that's what it was. He had, like, a whole lineup of previous Dino Zords, because there's, like, four, right? There's the Mighty Morphin, Dino Thunder, Dino Fury, and then Dino Charge. Dino Charge came before Fury, but hey. And this is taller than a lot of them, so I'm just going to get Tom Wade in here, because he's closest. And easiest to grab. So there he is next to an old Voyager. That's an old Voyager. And there he is next to a Deluxe. So he's about two and a half Deluxes tall. Which is kind of crazy. Also, what do you think cost more? The Megazord or the Deluxe? The answer is the Megazord. The Megazord actually didn't cost more. I said it wrong. Size Swipe cost 35 in his day. This cost me 30 what yeah so this thing is cheaper than a current deluxe which is 40. that's nuts i'm in the wrong hobby i say that a lot but yeah this thing's just really great looking but that's not all because this isn't just a megazord with this oh no hasbro was striving to give megazords articulation head rotation Outward, elbow joint, wrist swivel, no waist, but that's fine because that's transformation. Forward, back, rip the arm off. Outward, not much, but it goes out. A knee joint, a ball joint in the feet, so he has tilt, swivel, and back and forth. What? The, yeah. This Megazord has articulation and is posable. It doesn't just have arms. Or just like the knees because of the transformation. It would obviously have had the knees. The Japanese one has the knees. Like what? It's articulate. It's an articulate Megazord. They exist. They've existed since... Um, Beast Morphers, but these are, like, better articulate ones, because Beast Morphers, like, Hasbro's first go, they have made three of these, and they're all really articulate. It's insanity. Like, I, I don't know what else to say, except this thing is great. Is it a 5 out of 5 figure? I don't think. There's certain things to it that kind of irk me, like those clips up there, and this thing always falls off. Also, this thing here, I know it's accurate, but... It's not the worst when it's flipped forward, because like I said, from my perspective, it's fine, but from camera where it's kind of lowered, yeah, it kind of just covers his face. But I mean, there's not really much wrong with it, so I'm going to give this thing, because it only has minor issues, it's not flawless, I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. This thing is great. I actually really like this thing. I like the colors. I like the whole thing about it. I like that it turns into a penguin thing, if it is a penguin. I really like that. I think that this thing is phenomenal. And that if you could pick up a Megazord, I'd recommend this one. Or the, I don't have the gold one yet, but I'm not going to have it. But this one here, I can definitely wholeheartedly recommend. Great figure. Awesomeness. No, oh, 5 out of 5. There you go. 5 out of 5. I'm not, I'm not letting a couple things detract from it. I'm not that guy. But this is our review of the Power Rangers Patera Dino Fury Patera Freeze Megazord. This has been Elite signing out.